Okay guys, in that last video, these are my ZYX settings. And yeah, these are the default settings. So it was recommended to me that you don't actually need to mess with these settings. The only thing that uh, I adjust is my RC deadband. On the tail to five. And uh, these gain controls here I just um, want to use it anyway. I run these about 25. Because if you push these up here, they're going to raise your gains up way too much. See how your gains increase every time you uh, hit a different mode. But the agilities uh, go into their perspective. Right now I'm running near extreme mode, but. Uh, I keep my gains down around 25 and um, then I just raise my agility pitch that's roll actually should be roll and flip uh, pitch agility I'm still not sure I'm going to post this video on the forum and maybe somebody could tell me and I think this might be actually like your collective ag uh, agility on your throttle stick and then this here is what I use for my tail gain since uh, I'm not using uh, the gain from the transmitter if you're using the gain from the transmitter um, you're supposed to run your gain at a hundred and then adjust your gain from your transmitter that's it and uh, I downloaded the new ZYX software last night. Let's see if I have it here. Have a look at the new program. And it's not here. ZYX, yeah, S2. This is the new S2 software. Starts up here. Yeah, that's the new ZYX S2 uh, programming software. And tried to see if it would actually work with my um, my ZYX the old version. But, uh, looks a little more complicated, but still understandable. Agility, pitch, tail, yeah, basically the same thing, just a new interface. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, uh, my apologies for the last settings I gave you guys. Scrub those. You, matter of fact, you go in here and um, just push reset and use the same. Um, settings you see here except use uh, 5 on your RC deadband don't mess with anything else thanks for watching